Today I'm going to be showing you how I take care of my meat. We're working with pork, meat, chicken, and beef. not fancy pork chops. They're kind of the uh, calls, the end of the line, the bits and pieces. In other words, the cheap stuff. But that's okay. I'm just rinsing it to get all the butcher dust off. You know, little ground bones and bone spurs, things like that. Whole wings. The wings that you have to cut yourself. That's okay. We can cut wings. Right now I'm going to wash the chicken and let it drain in a colander. I know that there's mixed opinions but if you wash the meat or not. Of course I wash the meat. Can you imagine? You don't know where this meat's been. You don't know. I like the vacuum bags that I have to cut myself. The reason being is I can control the size of the bag. It's just as simple as that. I think we're probably going to go with about 11 or 12 inch bags. It sounds big, but you have to have a seam at the top and a seam at the bottom so that uh, you can seal the bag. Since the bags are not bags and just a tube, we're going to seal one end. Now your bag is open, sealed at the bottom. There's a couple of different settings that you can use for sealing. One, you just seal it. Two, you seal it as if it were moist and juicy. So if your meat is moist and juicy, you're going to use a different setting. Sometimes that moist and juicy setting has a tendency to leave a little too much air in the bag for me. So I'm going to use the dry setting and we're going to flip this over upside down. We're going to lock it and we're going to hit auto back. We're going to test this first seal because if we find that it sucked up too much juice out of the meat and um, it didn't seal the bag, we may have to go to the juicy setting. Yes, the bag is not sealed. There is a straight, straight line through there, but right here, from this point to this point, right there, so we could fuss with this all afternoon, but we're just going to cut it off. We're going to take the pork chop out and lay it on a fabric. We're not hyper drying it. We are not dehydrating it. We're just getting all that water off from me washing it. You also have to be a little cautious with the bones that are in the meat because if that bone punctures the bag you could get a leak. Oh, look at that. Sucked that meat right up, didn't it? Mm. That is a good safe seal. Your meat's going to be very well protected in this. These are just about the right size for breakfast. Breakfast chops. Yes. Love it when a plan comes together. Again, perfect seal. Airtight, air removed, happy meat.
Off to the freezer we go. Here's your chicken wing that we're going to section. And we're going to start right here. We're going to go in at this little Y and try to find the joint. And then when we find the joint, we just go right through it. Look at that. Look how smooth as butter. This is eventually going to get boring, so I think we're going to go ahead and fast forward here. Look how that works. Look at that. It works. If you want to know how to get moisture back into your chicken before you cook it, do a brine. Brining chicken wings in a brine, I have learned, is the way to go. We have our bowl of drums, 18 of them, and our bowl of flats, again, 18 of those. There we go. Beautiful seal. We got the drums across the bottom, flats across the top. You can see exactly what's in the package. Stack them all up in the freezer. And you're ready to roll. Once again, I'm sure this is going to be boring as hell. So you can just fast forward right on through this. Or maybe I'll do that for you. So cost wise, this five pound package of wings at the grocery store was $14.70, eh, $15. You're making three meals out of that, that's $5 a meal. Two, two people, this is two meals. So that's $2.50. I have to do something different with the beef. It inadvertently gotten stuck into the freezer. So now I have slabs of cold meat Ice cold, rock hard. This is probably not the most economical thing to do because I do use an awful lot of these bags. But I just feel more confident with them. Look how thin that packaging is now compared to the grocery store packaging. I guess having it frozen like this does make it easier to handle. The things that will compromise your bag is number one, a wrinkle, and then uh, moisture. Anything that stops the seal. And you can see that if that seal is broken, look at the air pockets that come back. All these air pockets have come back in this bag here. You see that? That's air. Here's one that's sealed. You see that? Look how tight that is next to the meat. 
You want that real tight next to your meat. All of that's real tight. That's a nice big piece of meat right there. Now look at that. Look how tight. Look how tight that is against the meat. Stop. I'm wrapping things up for right now. No pun intended. Yeah, pun intended. The ones that we did today are here with the older at the top. The chicken wings down here on the bottom with the older at the top. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.